Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. I'm still out here at Mikinope, um, you know, spending time with the family. And I thought, well, let's continue on. We're talking about having a great year of 2022. And it's entitled, actually, Starting 2022 on the Right Foot. Okay, this is the second episode, and it will be three episodes um, for that. Yesterday, we talked about the importance of Bible reading. Today, I want to talk about the importance of prayer. Okay, and I want to, um, this is all taken from 2 Timothy 3, verse 10 through chapter 4, verse 8. So if you have your Bibles, um, let's read that. We're going to just pick it up in, in chapter 4, uh, the end of chapter 3 into 4 um, today. So um, where it says this in verse 14 of chapter 3. But as for you, continue on what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those for whom you've learned it. And how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All Scriptures God breathed and is useful for teaching and rebuking and correcting and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word, be prepared, in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instructions. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn away their ears from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, endure hardships, and do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. It concludes here in verse 6. For I am already poured out like a drink offering, and the time of my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. We talked about, you know, evaluating our, the past years yesterday. And um, it, and as we go into 2022, evaluating what am I going to do different in 2022 to make it, a, you know, a, that a good year. We talked about Bible reading already. And today I want to talk about prayer and setting aside time for prayer. Okay. And it talked about here in the last what I, I read here about um, how Paul is like running the race. And when he gets to the finish line, he's spent. Okay. He, he's, he's done everything. Um, and he's looking forward uh, to being with, with, with the Lord, okay, um, on that day. So the thing is, we, we need to be communicating with God, okay, uh, on a daily basis and probably hourly and, and uh, you know, every minute, okay. Um, to do that, to, to achieve that goal, we have to be in communication. So imagine with me, you have a coach, and um, let's, I'm going to use... Um, the Gators because I'm up here at, near Gainesville right now. So you have the coach of the Gators and that coach, um, they hire the coach and knowing that he's a mute, he can't speak. Okay. How do you think that football team's going to do? They're not going to do well because the coach can't speak. Okay. And he's going to try and do sign language and, and write stuff down on a pad of paper and stuff like that, but it's not going to go well because he can't speak and they're not going to listen. Or imagine the the quarterback, um, the coach is speaking, but he goes, oh, I'm going to be in, on my own zone. And he just puts on his headphones and zones the coach out and doesn't listen to the coach. Well, that's what a lot of us as Christians do. We kind of zone out and we do whatever we want to do, but we don't listen to the coach. We're not reading the Bible to listen to him, and we're not spending time in prayer either uh, to communicate with the coach. So we need to be in constant communication uh, with the coach. Um which is Jesus, okay? If we're not doing that, <laughs> we're in for a tough time, okay? We, we've got to be doing that. And when I talk about prayer, I'm talking, it's, it's, it's not doing, it's not giving God a, a laundry list of stuff I got to do, uh, which, which he's got to do. Uh, hey, God, I need you to do this for me, and I need you to do this for me, and, and this for me. That's not the way it is. It's, it, it's more of communion. You're talking back and forth, Okay. And imagine if you had, if you talked to your wife like that and you came in and you said, Hey, uh, Myrna, I need you to, um, 
uh, do my laundry for me, uh, make sure that's all done. Uh, take care of the kids, make sure they're all taken care of good. Uh, could you cook lunch for me tomorrow too? That'd be great. Uh, make me a good breakfast tomorrow. And uh, do the bookkeeping, make sure that's all good. And give that whole laundry list of stuff, okay? After I do that, how, how do you think she's going to feel? She's like going to go, oh, that's great. I, I'm so glad we could do that, communicate. No, that's not communication. That's like giving a list, okay? I have to sit and I have to listen. So a lot of times when I'm praying, I spend some time talking to God, and then I spend time listening, okay, um, to what he might say. And, and some of that listening is uh, spending time, uh, you know, reading the Bible, okay? So it's give and take um, with that. Um, so that's the big thing. If you want to have a good 2022, spend time in prayer. And just carve out some time each day. You know, if it's like five minutes, if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, start with that. You know, start th with that way. And don't limit yourself to that. Like, oh, I prayed for 15 minutes. I can't do anything else. No, you might need to, you know, you spend the 15 minutes in the morning, but then you might, might need to get on your knees later on and spend more time in prayer over some issue that's happened or whatever. But spend time in prayer. That's the big thing if you want to have a, a good 2022, start with prayer. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue talking about 2022. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.